Welcome to part 2 of the official Signal RGB tutorial series. This video will cover how to select and configure lighting effects. After opening Signal RGB, you'll land on the home screen. This is where you can see all the different categories that includes free effects, game integrations, new and updated effects, and popular effects. You can expand each one of these categories to view the full list of effects by clicking more. These categories are also accessible on the left side of the engine under library. If you want to search for a specific effect, then you can use the search bar at the top. To install an effect, hover over the image and click the install button. Now that the effect is installed, you can apply it with the apply button. You can also remove it with the delete button. On the left side of the engine under library, you can click install to see all of the effects you've already installed, and then easily apply or delete them. This is also where you can quickly see which effects have updates available. If you hover over an effect and see this update button, then you can click it to update the effect to the latest version. We recommend you keep your effects updated because these updates include performance improvements, bug fixes, and new customization options. After applying an effect, you can customize it by either clicking Customize under My Effects or clicking the Effect box in the top left corner. This is the customization area and it's where you can change the effect colors, speed, and more. On the right side is where all of the customization options are and it varies depending on the effect. You can quickly change effects by clicking the box up here, which will open this menu with all of the effects you've installed. This is also where you'll find the screen ambience effect, which is installed by default. Let's load up the gradient wave effect and try out some customization. This effect has the option to select the number of colors you want to use. For this example, I'll set the sliders to three colors. This means I can use color picker one, two, and three to customize this gradient wave. To use this color picker, click on the dot and move your mouse up or down to quickly select the color. Each color picker has a saturation slider, which adjusts the intensity of the color, and a luminance slider, which essentially adjusts the brightness of the color. One thing to keep in mind is that sliding the luminance slider all the way to the left makes the color black, and sliding it all the way to the right makes it white. If you have a custom color code, you can paste it in this color code box, or if you want to pick from a greater range of colors, then you can press the wrench icon, which will open up this advanced color picker. Now let's set the first color to pink, the second color to cyan, and the third color to blue. This effect also has the option to make the wave vertical, change the speed, or adjust the wave size. When you have a custom effect you're happy with, then you can save it as a preset, then you can always load it back at any time. You can save up to three presets, which are labeled as letters A, B, and C here in the top right corner. To save your effect, click and hold the letter until you get a message at the bottom that says Effect Preset Saved. Clicking the letter once will instantly load your preset. If you want to revert the effect to how it looked when you first installed it, then you can click and hold this back button until you get a message at the bottom that says Effect Reverted to Defaults. This will not affect your presets, they are still saved under letters A, B, and C. Now let's take a look at effect rules. Right here you'll see that there's text that says Rule, Always Show, and then Gradient Wave. This basically means that no matter what, the only effect that is playing will be the Gradient Wave effect. If we click this up arrow, we can now set a different rule. This rule now says At Idle, Show Gradient Wave, and when media is playing, Show Screen Ambience. This means that when there is no media playing, such as music or videos, then the current effect will be gradient wave. As soon as you play any kind of media, then the screen ambience effect kicks in automatically. You can change these effects to anything you want. For example, you can set the media effect to be our free audio spectrum effect. Then, anytime you play any kind of media, it will switch from the idle effect to the audio visualizer. This is the end of this tutorial, and we hope you have fun playing around with the hundreds of effects available in Signal RGB.